Jayaha! Shivara Jaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is don't kill your emotions, tame them instead. One of the big things, one of the big aspects about you know, life and what you can do in your existence is to learn how to tame the energies that are rising through your system. We're talking about emotions, we're talking about feelings, we're talking about thought processes. And uh, the idea is this, it is that if you feel like there is a shadow emotion coming through you, instead of being like trying to suppress it or kill it or attack it, the idea is to use that energy and use that wave instead of trying to suppress it and destroy it. So this is the idea. Don't destroy your emotions. Emotions. It's every aspect of what is happening in your field, in your system, has a message for you. So the idea of trying to shut it down, it's like if you have pain in your body, trying to shut down that pain using painkillers, you know, might be one of the possible solutions. Sometimes it works, but very often it's more interesting to actually listen to what your body is trying to tell you. So when you have emotions rising through you, okay, you have this anger or rage or sadness, so you have something coming up, it doesn't mean like going and taking action and doing th something stupid with it, but it means taking the time to actually pause and listen to what's happening inside of you. If you have a storm raging on the beach somewhere and you're a good surfer, what you want to do is use the energy of that storm. You want to use the energy of these waves to have a fantastic time. It means that you're going to use that energy and learn how to tame the energies of these waves to actually master an aspect of your life. So when you have a raging volcano rising from within that is calling for freedom and calling for space, and uh, everything in education has been telling you, you are being emotional, suppress, stop, you're not allowed to be wild, you're not allowed to be explosive or reactive, you're not allowed to criticize, you're not allowed to have any of these shadow emotions, then what is happening is that you end up locked within a need to be the good guy, the good person, the good girl, and that, uh, that robs you basically from an aspect that you could call your wild side. And so instead of being like, okay, I am supposed to be perfect, any shadow emotion that comes into my field is not welcome and I have to, to, to shut that down, then instead of looking at it from, from that perspective, you go like, okay, I acknowledge the fact that something is happening here, what can I do with it? Instead of just blocking it, instead of contracting, instead of you know, feeling guilty or ashamed, you go like, yeah, I'm feeling anger right now. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm being emotional and I'm cool with it. I'm feeling emotions running through my system and I don't have to feel guilty or ashamed about it. Of course, I'm not telling you to go ahead and take action and, and punch somebody in the face. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you have emotions like this one, this one's rising that are usually labeled as bad emotions, shadow emotions, you go like, you know what? It's just energy running through my system. What is anger? Anger is the conflict between freedom energy running through your field and encountering the, the frames or the um, contractions that have been established. It means that you live in a certain match matrix and then you have a flow of, of energy coming through your system and that responds or reacts with the existing frames and that creates what we call the emotion of anger. Anger, when you track it back, is an energy that is calling for freedom, for energetic or emotional freedom. Okay, so it's a very simple thing to look at and when you start identifying this and uh, tapping into it, then uh, everything gets much, much simpler. It means that instead of being like, I have to suppress all that, I'm going to uh, create a flow of energy in my life where I welcome uh, my humanness and uh, the emotions that come into my field. And the idea is this, it is that you look at your life and you look at, at your emotions, especially the, the strong ones, the powerful ones, as a source of life force and energy that is going to motivate you to take action. It's a little bit like riding a wild stallion. You know, you can keep the stallion on the leash and really under control, or you can use the natural energy of this horse that is a symbol for your own instinctual nature and start, you know, conquering and moving energy into, into spaces that you would not tap otherwise. 
So this is a very powerful thing to realize that those emotions are alive inside of you and you can look at them as sources of energy. When I say taming, it means that you are able to play with them. They are not in control, you are not enslaved by them. Okay, it doesn't mean being enslaved by your emotions, it means that you master them. You learn how to play with them, you tame them, instead of being enslaved by them or trying to suppress them. So, this is an art, okay, it's not something that happens just like that, uh, but the, the thing that I want you to consider here is simply that, this idea that those emotions are sources of powerful energy. No matter what is rising through your system, you might see, you will see that there is an access to light in every shadow, in everything that is coming through you. And uh, if you are smart and you know how to play with that a little bit, like with, uh, with music or with art, it's really an art and you learn how to navigate these emotions in a skillful way. The ultimate goal with what I'm saying here is uh, emotional mastery or emotional freedom. The idea, is that you start tapping into what we would call um, uh, Chitayama. Chitayama is the, the, the code word that I use for this within the vital tantra system. Chitayama is mind mastery. It's uh, the mastery of your thought emotions, thoughts, emotions, feelings, everything that is happening within the microcosmic reality that is within you. So this is this reality, you learn how to play with that and how to tame it so that you have a great life, a great successful life. Tame it. Don't suppress. <laughs> I love you.